Uh, well, we got we got Allmar versus Donkey Kong coming up next. Uh, I'm not 100% sure as to who the players' names are, I believe. Okay, so we got T-Man versus Adarab. I had that correct, yes. Uh, somebody's going to eventually join me on the mic. It is lame. How you doing, sir? Quickly, quickly. I'm How you well. doing, sir? There we go. Yeah, yeah. All right. Adarab versus T-Man. Mm -hmm. uh, you know what? I, I like... I like the fact that uh, who was that? That's playing Almar. All, uh, Adarab seemed like he wasn't really faced too much mentally off camera because he knew that those Pikmin were gonna just delay that throw so much. He had plenty of ability to avoid getting followed up. Yeah. All right, but uh, right after that, it doesn't matter because Donkey Kong gets so many good true combos off of that throw. T-Man doing a good job keeping him above him right now, kind of controlling center stage. Yeah, and uh, one more grab, and I feel like that's a stock. Yeah, even with Battlefield's high ceilings, uh, Lalamar not being the heaviest of characters, but Donkey Kong can easily seal the stock out with, like, this might be it. Okay, doesn't get the cargo throw, but Ooh. opts the way out the air dodge. Yeah. But that back air is going to take it out. That was good coverage by the ledge, not letting Adarab stay comfortable over there with the magical 69%. Never mind, it's gone. Yeah, it only stays for one. We, we could, this is why we can't have nice things. Uh, yeah, we, so we try to have them for a little bit, but no. Uh, interesting lineup for Pikmin. Uh, I'm I, familiar with some of the properties. Uh, I would think he wants the uh, blue one for uh, kill throw. Yeah, I feel like right now uh, he's just trying to establish some damage. He's not really going too much for Pikmin control. The white one puts on so much yeah. damage though. But he definitely, as you said, needs to get that blue one. I'm uh, trying to catch him with an aggressive approach on that pink one, but I'm sorry, bleh. there are no pink ones. Yeah. The purple one. I'm colorblind. I'm not actually. Yeah. Oh. I see if he could get a hold of the blue one sometime soon, that up throw will definitely kill. And now he has the opportunity to pull them out, I think. I believe it's next, actually. Yes. I think they just go with the uh, the, pink, the purple one at the moment, though, just to maybe try and guarantee that he gets the kill. But yeah. T-Man trying to get rid of it. T-Man not letting him land so he can't pull out the Pikmin. Mm -hmm. uh, and now we're Solomar. Okay, but he gets the perfect lineup to follow. And opts to throw the blue one at him instead. And it's gonna, yeah, but it dies. Yeah, unfortunately, it's going to die. So now he has to try and recycle to get back through. He does have the purple one available for kills. But, but uh, it's not going to throw them. I don't know. Right now, he's in a very dangerous spot because he is at 52%. But yes. Donkey Kong has 100. Ooh. But he has zero. He has zero, zero ladies rage. and gentlemen. I was incorrect. <laughs> ah. All right. It, I would say one more grab would do it. Yeah, if he could hold on to staying, uh, having no damage right now, nice, like, immediate stuff with that grab, like, not back off. I know that you're going for this two-frame grab right now. Uh, this might be it. Okay, Ooh, he's a little, a little bit high. too high. Uh, so probably going to opt out for a back throw, maybe. I feel like what he was trying to go for there was, a j like, either a jab block or a push off from that down tilt into the nair, because you could get a guaranteed follow-up with that back air afterwards. Right. Or at least get him off stage. Off to go for a ledge trump, and this is yeah. very bad. Yeah, he didn't really have anything he could do after that. Uh, that was really good conditioning on T-Man's part to force him to that ledge after the ledge trump. Yeah, I had no idea. I thought he was gonna maybe go try for a spike because uh, he has no hitbox after the, the B. Yeah, but good stuff. Nice coverage. Uh, what do you think that he's gonna like opt to go to stage to, like on the counter pick here? Uh, Staying I would with Olimar. think uh, final destination, uh, eliminate all platforms and mm -hmm. uh, easier to throw Pikmin. Like I, nowhere to dodge, but we're I would agree with that. I'm willing to, uh, from the looks of the fact that we're on Lilat, I'm willing to put money that that was banned. Because yeah. T-Man probably thought about that immediately. Like, yeah, I'm not giving all of our space coverage. That yeah. was smart on him, throwing out that Nair too, because uh, he was in an awkward position. He had no jump. So if uh, Adarab noticed, he could have gotten a lot of damage off of holding a shield, but T-Man getting the better end of that. Still has a percent lead right now, but it's, it's a grappler. So you never really have a, like, you never really have a lead unless the stock's gone. That's true. Or even if they're if you're at like too high percent, mm -hmm. so the ding dong doesn't work. That's true. Yeah, you either, you need to keep them as far out. The nice coverage with that down tilt there. Uh, unfortunately, losing his blue Pikmin, uh, opting to try and catch that up B. Ooh. That was smart on him. I don't think that he meant to do that fair the opposite way. Oh, and him just covered yeah. everything he could do there. Like beautiful catch. If, even if he air dodged, he was still going to follow him slowly down. Mm -hmm. So he had great coverage right there with that up, uh, up air. And once again, in a very similar position to the last game. I love that up B. Yeah. I feel like that is an underutilized tool. I know it's not the safest of moves, but I love that move. Uh, it's invincible in the air. I'm not sure about in the ground, right? It, it's, it has a multi-hit and it has a bit of an armor frame property. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> wow, okay. that Pikmin got clapped. And T-Man right now is just not letting Adarab get any type of space control. And he, with all this percent, now that he's around the 40% range, he, yeah, he's just opting to back off. Yeah. He, he, has, he doesn't have to approach at any point, except for that. He got a little, uh, that, that was a good dash attack, catching him sleeping a bit there. 
All right, now we're at the. Now we get to play everybody's favorite game. Don't get grabbed. Don't get grabbed. He, he has a like good lineup of Pikmin right now, but he needs to seal this out like immediately. Otherwise, this is gonna be curtains. He does have 155, so he might fall out. But oh, okay. Ooh. Is he gonna get? No, he gonna is get gonna get lilated. Yeah, that's unfortunate. I I like. You know, I'll give him credit for the idea. Yeah. Because I didn't think he was gonna make it under, but I was like, oh, he's gonna make it under. Mm, no. <laughs> so. But I also feel like Donkey Kong's fast enough to get there. Yeah, if he ran across the stage, he could have covered the other side, but he he just couldn't seal out the stock. That was the big yeah. issue there. It's, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, even with the blue, um, he wasn't really getting a lot of good spacing with his fares or anything like that, so he, he was having a really hard time sealing it out, and T-Man was doing a good job uh, with his survivability. Played that matchup perfectly. Yeah, he was facing really well with that down tilt.